So I'm getting drunk with you. Mirth, mirth, mirthrung. Please, please stop the hard username. Okay, <clears throat> this is a stupid idea. Totally irresponsible, or I don't know. But it's not my fault. We had a little vote on my Instagram and I asked, should I do a sober Q&A or a drunk Q&A? And guess what? The drunk one won with 85%. And I'm just your loyal servant, so here we go. I mean, at least I put on some nice clothing, so I'm trying to fool you here that I'm a responsible grown-up, etc. But yeah, we'll see how this ends. So, <clears throat> I have some vodka and some lemon thingy that I got from last weekend in UK. But I think, I think it's only proper to start with a little shot of vodka. Ooh. Um, and I ate of these glasses here, so I thought we can use them all, so once we finish all of these I should be pretty, into pretty intoxicated. I hate when people, I've been seeing a couple of videos like these and people like, they drink a beer or two and get a little bit tipsy. That's not being drunk, that's clickbait. And I try not to be too clickbait. So I'm getting drunk with you. Cheers. Or skål, as we say in Swedish. <coughs> Where should I put all of this? I think we need ourselves a little table, unless, unless this is going to end really, really bad. I, I don't have a suitable table, so we're improvising a bit. As you can see, this is <laughs> the boombox, the sound box, just wrapped up in a pink blanket. What to say? What to do? Maybe another drink. Hmm. Okay. I'm going in for this. I hope you like this, otherwise it's a waste. Waste of alcohol. <coughs> Wouldn't drink vodka straight up in normal cases, but today that's what we are doing. Boring to just drink by yourself. La 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 la. Maybe some music. Alexa, play some music. Resuming Spotify. Not that pep. Let's see if we can find something better. Oh, that's a nice girl. Instagram was open. Sorry for that. <laughs> Maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe paint my nails. I haven't done an Instagram live stream in a while. Maybe this is the time. Painting nails and getting drunk. And filming a video all in the same time. Fuck. Hi there, internet. Hi there. Oh, getting all... That's your fault. Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to mix up the most horrible cocktail ever right now. I thought this is not strong enough, so we're going to spice it up a bit. La 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 la. How many do go in this one? One, two, that's two enough. We go for three. La 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 la. So, <clears throat> this is the first thing you learn in your life the 50 50 drink. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. So, <clears throat> please, everyone here on the Instagram, say hi to YouTube. 
that's 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 YouTube. <sighs> Cheers, everyone. School. Oh, hell, I don't know. It's getting so warm here. Uh, I think I think I, I don't think I've ever been drinking this fast in my whole life. I'm doing this for you, YouTube. You better press like and subscribe if you haven't already. Right now, I'm at f five of these. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, she's the demo. <laughs> En gång när jag var hon. I think I think I'm ready to start answering the <laughs> the questions now. So let's go. Okay. Let's come a little bit closer. <coughs> Sorry for that. Sorry. Fuck. I never finished the nails. <laughs> okay, fuck it. I don't care. It's full focus on you, but before we start, these are already finished. Let's mix another drink. I don't know if it's available anywhere else than in Britain, but it's really good. And apparently it works perfect with vodka. Vodka! Where to start? Where to start? If we start easy at least. Broken man Mindset is asking What are some of your major goals in life? What will you do once you get your engineering degree? Hopefully I'll be an engineer. Something that I also thought about when choosing my education is that I would like to contribute to something that actually improves the society. What it actually is doesn't really matter that much. Next one, Deathmore. Hi, Sara. Deathmore is asking, secret to having so much energy. Well, I think this might be a kind of a surprise for most most of you, but I, I think that, <laughs> I think that as being just natural myself, I'm kind of introverted, and I worked very hard on being more social and and having energy, getting energy from people and the basic reason is that I had a girlfriend when I was like 15 and she showed me that life is way more fun if you are way out there and talk to people and make new connections and things like that and that's what I learned and, and, and after that I've been working on that um, and I think that's Somehow, still, I'm kind of withdrawn, even though not everyone maybe notices it. But, yeah. I like to focus on the energy. Instead of focusing on that I'm tired, when I started to feel that I'm tired, I like to focus on I'm having fun, even though, I mean, even if I'm, a city, even if I'm in a situation where I'm not having fun, I like to like imagine that I'm having fun. I like to, maybe I'll close my eyes if I'm at a uh, party and a dance floor that is not super awesome. I'd like just close my eyes and imagine that it's the best party ever. Um, I have energy, I feel fine. And that over and over again for maybe 10 minutes and then I feel fine again. For my sake, I think that one of the things that I really try to emphasize is that the mind is stronger than the body. Oh god. <laughs> I think I think I think it's time to start undressing a bit. This is way too warm. Next question. There are so many questions. We need to hurry up if we're going to finish this eventually. What was your favorite outfit that uh, you've ever worn? Well, I think it was the last weekend at Infest Festival. Um 
that outfit. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. That outfit was just mind-blowing. I wanted so much. I wanted so much. I wanted so much. Your funniest after-party story from a festival. I don't remember though. Give me a moment, we'll do a cut here. I remember the best festival after party, or well, I don't know if you can count this as an after party or even count it as a festival, but we have a cruise in Stockholm, like a 48 hour boat party where you have your own cabins and stuff. So you go on a boat and there are thousands of people aboard and everyone has their own cabin. So we were sharing four people and two of them, they were like a couple, so they have been having sex in our cabin and they were tired, this was in the middle of the night, I think at 4 a.m., something like that. So they have been having sex and they wanted to sleep. Um, and I was like, to this third person that still also went to bed. And I was like, why is no one partying with me? I was kind of desperate because, I mean, of course there are other people awake, but I wanted someone from my group, from my crew, to party with me. So, so this girl who was sleeping, and, and now you might think that I sound like a total dickhead, but I, I would say that I'm close enough to this person to, to make this kind of okay. I took this person around the waist, she was up in her bed, like it was a bunk bed on the second floor. I took her around the waist, and then I started to pull, and she was holding on to the railings. And she was holding on and holding on maybe 20, 30 seconds before her energy rusted out. And I threw her out, or what, not, not threw, I didn't throw her, but I pushed her out in the corridor, outside the cabin. She only had her panties and something, I don't know, a cute top on top. Uh, and I threw her like her pants out and that, like a shirt, maybe had, she had a shirt on top. I can't remember, uh, but I threw out her pants, that I know at least. And she was so angry with me in the beginning, but then afterwards she act, uh, we, we went up to the dance floor and they were playing hardcore music and we just got her energy back. And yeah, she actually thanked me after that. Yeah. That, that's a memory that I will have for the rest of my life. I think, I think I need to answer the questions uh, quicker, otherwise we'll never get an end to this video. So, what's the next one? I'm back. I'm sorry, there might have been like one or two questions lost in this. The microphone ran out of battery and... But if you wonder what I'm using this right now, it's because my flatmate is having like a horror movie night. And I, I think that you would like i rather like to hear my voice than to hear their horror movie. But, or what do you think? Let, let's just continue like if no, nothing happened. Cheers to that. This will be the, this will be the longest video in, in, in history. Should I put something on? I'll put something on. I won't disappoint you too much. Um, okay. This thing, I'm going to cut away from the YouTube, <laughs> from the YouTube video because it's just too embarrassing. But I'll tell it to those of you who's watching the Instagram live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing. Someone's asking, what's the most embarrassing thing that you have ever done? <laughs> Oh fuck. Franklin Ryevsky is asking How did you find the meaning in life and cope with the inevitab inevitability of death? I don't think I ev have even found the meaning of life yet. Right now my meaning of life is having fun but if you see it from a deeper perspective, I think there's more to it. Somehow. Maybe. 
I think I need to stand up. I think maybe that will sober me up. Yonder girlfriend is saying, what non-conventional things do you believe in, such as vampires or dragons or stuff? Nothing. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Princess Mirth, Mirth, Mirthrung, please, please stop the hard usernames. Princess Mirthrung is saying, "Would you like to visit New Zealand, my country?" In parentheses, of course I would. I actually booked a, booked a trip. That was a kind of like an error fair, if you know what that means. But it was cancelled because it was... I think there was some error with my credit card. And do you have any guilt pleasure music that is not dark or goth? Yes, please just watch my YouTube uh, Mera Luna videos. Or like any YouTube videos from festivals at all and you will know. <laughs> Star Ruletto is saying, Do you have. Okay, since you love to travel, what places are on your bucket list? India, North Korea, no, not North Korea, but South Korea, maybe North Korea as well. I have never been to Southeast Asia, that's also on the to do list. Australia, South America, for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Maybe. Svalbard, that's on the to-do list as well. Uh, Sleeping Fury is asking, oh, this is actually kind of a serious question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Will you still be have the same style? Uh, plus, please tell us about the uh, embarrassing memory. I've always done the me embarrassing memory with margin. Uh, Style-wise, I think maybe not as many crop tops but otherwise I think kind of the same style unless I lose my hair I have kind of an anxiety about losing my hair right now uh, I'm not sure right now if I'm losing my hair because somebody pulled my extensions it was fun while it lasted it was very very fun or if I'm losing my hair due to jeans and stuff. But if I lose my hair, maybe I'll need to change my style. But if not... And now the sex questions are coming! <gasps> Fucking finally! <laughs> <laughs> Antichrist Prophet is asking... Ever had BDSM sex? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it depends on what you define as BDSM sex, but I've done a fair amount of stuff. Yeah, I, I, I would kind of, without doubt, say yes. And cheers to that. The funny thing is, the next question is, are you into kinky stuff? <laughs> Uh, I'd say yes. I'm not super kinky, but like somewhere, somewhere right in the middle between. And then <laughs> we have Genesis Key. All right, your story asked the question to get lured. <laughs> so here we go. Did I ask the question to get lured? I only, I only made made the assumption. Or well, I mean. I only had the reflection that nobody's asking questions about sex. Uh, maybe that's kind of saying that that I want to get lewd. <laughs> Is that how we say it? Lewd? L U No, L E W D. How do you even pronounce that? Oh. <laughs> this is the drunk test. Where you slap yourself. I love this drunk test. This is also kind of the answer to one of the questions, but like the best drunk test ever is that you, you ask someone to slap you in the face 
And if you kind of don't feel it, that means that you're drunk. Anyway, get back to, to Genesis Key. William also, known as William. You fuck, why do you ask this question? Um, um, what's the craziest sexual experience that you've had at the festival? And I would answer that I think it's a bit too recent to put on YouTube. I, I'm sorry that that's kind of I'm, that's kind of a that's kind of a um, boring answer to the question. But to compensate you, I'm going to do another shot. I'm I'm sorry for for a bit like talking blah 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 blah. This is my, this is the last, the last cup that I brought into this room. This is the last I'm going to drink. And mix it up with some hooch because I think that if I drink pure vodka I will puke, I'm puke right now. Helvetes <laughs> jävlar! Okay, apparently, apparently the lost connection. And now, now I really, now I really need now I really, 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 really need to go pee so you can join me, okay? Oh, fuck my life. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, not one more. Oh, yeah. There you are. Hi. Hey, oh, I can hear you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry for this. <laughs> both of both of the two of the my toilets are occupied. Oh. Oh. Hurry up, you suckers! Yes, bitch. This will be the worst YouTube video ever. Maybe, maybe next time people like. <laughs> or maybe it will be the best ever. <laughs> okay, I'm in the toilet. Oh fuck. Oh, had a good. I'm going to sit down, just as everyone should. Oh, had a good. to answer the last questions before I'm going to pass out. Please, please don't do this. This was a stupid idea. Hey. Are you... Cinemorph Hunter is asking, are you a virgin? Antonella, if it's asking, do you know me? Not really. Ugh. Miss Maybe is asking, Miss Maybe something is asking, what's your se sex life like? You kinky? I would say not enough. Jennifer Kane is asking if we could make your dream festival. What's the lineup? If we were a proper mix up, mix up between super gothic gothic music and super dancing dancing music. And then there is somebody called I don't know. Danny, Danny Dutri something? Are you and Barbara husband? That's a weird question. Weird, weird question. Then there's A. 
full stop and full stop this way. Where do you want to live for life? I love Stockholm. Then there's Lutingel fan. What about visiting, visiting Latin America? I would love to visit Latin America. Have you any favorite non goth bands? Yes, I would say The Knife. Swedish, Swedish band The Knife. And then there is 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 Battery. When will you come to London? When there will there be a May? Will there be a meeting with? I will come to London soon. I will have come to London soon. And when I'm in London, I don't think there's a really need for a proper new meeting week. I'll post it on Instagram which club nights I'm going to. And you can just meet me there. Oh! There are more questions, just a few more. Gospel Savior is asking if you could ever have any color of hair, what color would it be and why? I love blue, I like blueberries. Then Maria 02012173 is asking what have you drink? And I would say too much. And the last question. Celia Rosas 7 is asking, have you finished your career? No, it hasn't. It haven't even started yet. And with this I need to say thank you so much for watching. And I'm very sorry for this. Very very sorry for this didn't turn out as I planned. Goodbye. Ciao. My god, that was the worst idea ever. Sorry for those, sorry to those of you. I mean, I fell asleep times six in the morning. Sorry to those of you who didn't get an answer to their question. There will be another time, but now I'm going to sleep. Bye. This is me from the day after going through the video. What a mess. Anyway, there was just one more thing that I wanted to answer, one more question that I remember. And that was if I, somebody asking, I don't remember the, remember the name, but asking, Simon, will you be hosting an after party at Mira Luna just like this year? Uh, and I would say most probably, yes. To do that, we need to buy a new tent though because it was thrashed after so many festivals uh, so if you would like to contribute to buying the new the new party tent the new tent to hold the after parties at Vera Luna you can do so at my patreon page there is a new reward there for just supporting buying the new tent so if you want to come dance there next year uh, maybe consider doing that I mean, you're welcome anyway, but still. Ciao.